Hello there, everyone. How's it going today? This is Matt with Matt's Off-Road Living. Today we're going to be going over a golf cart on 35-inch boggers. We're going to do a quick overview on it, and then uh, yeah, we'll go from there. We'll make some other videos on the brakes and how it runs and everything, but let's do a quick walk around, shall we? Let's, let's take a cruise. Do a quick cruise around. We'll do, we'll do a quick cruise around, and we'll get. Well, then we'll get into it. It's a 1992 gas, easy go, golf cart. 35 inch boggers, 12 inch lift. Does real good. Drove it for about two years on 33s. Uh, it did just fine. Uh, only thing is going down the hills, the brakes would not would not stop it no matter what. Absolutely not. It would maintain speed going downhill. Obviously maintain speed, but it would not slow down going down hills. And that was an issue. So we did a disc brake conversion on the rear. I put together a disc brake kit we we'll go through that in another video but today let's go over just what this golf cart is so it's a pretty darn big golf cart uh front suspension has a 12 inch drop on the factory leafs has the pitman arm pitman arm drop big square tube drop has a 2500 pound winch on the front help the springs out a little bit i put these uh coil springs on there uh front axle a little bit heavier duty put some gussets on there steering and everything is pretty much factory uh yeah does real good uh to make these 35s fit i just painted it it had 33s on it now it has 35s so what i did was i cut the i had to cut the fenders back these fenders came down probably out here. I cut them back to the main support on the golf cart. As you can see, I went back as far as I could. No structure loss. Does real good. It's not a flex monster, so she gets by with that. So, do a little walk around on the side. Clears pretty well. No issues so far. Took it for a test drive, no big deal, didn't hit. Uh, made a custom little dash for it. I don't know, it left room so I could add more stuff to it here. So you got your winch controller. Uh, rewired the whole thing. Fresh coat of paint on it. It's about 90% done. Put some Jeep seats on there. Those are nice and comfy. In the back here, this lower arm on this these easy goes uh, stretched four inches here to get the tires back. It does have a Gator motor on it. Let's do some more pictures here. Did a little exhaust work. Did a little exhaust work on there to get the exhaust down because before I didn't have this back uh, this back uh, trunk in here so exhaust could just come straight back I want a cooler carrier so I put that in there put these springs on here that helps it out a lot the rear end it does have a Gator 617 uh, twin cylinder liquid cooled motor on it the rear axle here is factory golf cart so it has a forward and reverse on that so the motor can spin just one way the disc brake conversion on here that was a tremendous difference well needed got a trailer hitch on here everything painted up does real good plenty of power it's not fast it's not no speed demon it's the average golf cart speed, which I'm perfectly fine with, especially with this size tires. Yeah. We'll have another video of 
uh, taken, taken it out. I did build this golf cart as a companion vehicle for this bad boy. That's a 2001 International Fire Rescue Unit. It uh, has a DT530 300 horse, so pull anything you want. We'll have more videos on this too. We'll go through that also. And then pretty much whatever else you see in the background. But uh, that's a Samurai Suzuki that I handcrafted, built into a off-road machine. Three-link front, three-link rear. We can get into that. That's, but yeah. So yeah, underneath. We'll go underneath real quick here for you guys. I'll show you what we got under here. Nothing crazy. Drop down brackets. Here's your uh, one inch bore master cylinder I put in there, remote reservoir. Dropped the, the brakes down. Didn't know how far I would need it, but obviously it's real good there, so I can cut that off. There's the motor. I'll take a little quick gander up on top, show you the top of the motor. Nice and clean, clean machine. Like I said, it does really, really good. Comfortable driving, not like big and crazy. Smooth riding, like I said, nice Jeep seats. Let me, 90% uh, done, not 100%. So I got this seat so it comes out nice and easy. So then I can lift this because I've been taking this on and off until this point. I'm gonna get the seat up here. And then we will go through some engine stuff. Everyone likes engine stuff. Got your factory gas tank here. Got a little fuel pump. Engine coolant reservoir. There's a master cylinder right there. Radiator. This is a Kawasaki 617 Gator motor. Twin cylinder. Fit in there like a glove. Got a car battery in there. A little air cleaner. It's a neutral. Nice. Needed to idle real low so that it'll disengage the rear end so I can shift forward and reverse. But yeah, other than that, 92. Easy go golf cart on 35 inch boggers. As you know, if you like what you see here, this is my first video, so bear with me. But uh, yeah, if you like what you see, uh, please uh, subscribe and like, and we will have pretty much everything else you see in this video we'll be going through and let you know what it is, how I did it, how I built it what it does how good it does and we'll have uh some outdoor videos in action so all right thank you very much have a beautiful uh day and enjoy we'll catch you guys later